Welcome to the Dental Implant Practices Podcast, where each episode will explore how to integrate dental implants into your practice and into bone with your host, Dr. Philip Gordon. Hey guys, thanks for being listeners to the show. Go to dentalimplantpractices.com and find all of our resources. Also find us on Facebook, Dental Implant Practices page on Facebook. And go to iTunes and leave me a review on iTunes so we can help spread the message. Thanks. Welcome back to another episode of the Dental Implant Practices podcast. I'm your host, Philip Gordon. And uh, today it's a, it's a huge honor for me to introduce Dr. Anna Luisa Bernati. Thanks for being on the show, Anna. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and share a little bit uh, about what we are doing here in Venezuela. You have been referred to as the Perio Queen of Venezuela, and you are uh, one of the divas in dentistry. I'm sure most people have heard about you, but for those that maybe don't know a whole lot about you, maybe why don't you tell my audience a little bit about yourself, You know where you um, did your kind of uh, education and um, where you're living and practicing right now? I study at the UCB University, that is Universidad Central de Venezuela. So my studies were here in Venezuela. And then I start with uh, continuing education with all these dental meetings all over the world. So I start to improve myself with this continuing education and sharing at the, the websites like uh, Divas in Dentistry and Follow the Pink, sharing my cases and, you know, in, in changing uh, opinions about the cases and how we were treating all the mucogingival defects like uh, uh, root recessions and biotypes and all the aesthetic about uh, tissue management. So when uh, I gather this fantastic group of uh, divas in dentistry, we realized that uh, it was so important the periodontal um, surgery that we managed to improve ourselves with new techniques that I'm going to talk about it uh, just in a few minutes with you also. So I started, uh, I finished my studies here in Venezuela and I started, you know, uh, going to the United States to, to learn about, you know, implant dentistry and to improve uh, periodontal, you know, techniques, microplastic periodontal techniques. So now uh, we were sharing, we are sharing a lot of, uh, you know, knowledge about all the things that we can do and we can improve. Uh, so we can, maybe we're not changing the world, but we can change with little details uh, the world for a patient. Yeah, excellent. I mean, I know I know it sounds like you're doing a, a lot of good things and uh, continue to expand your research and, and clinical bases there. What is your what does your practice look like in Venezuela and um, what do you spend the, the bulk of your time treating? Well, in Venezuela I have my office and here uh, we we have a continued education to the post grad of the University Central de Venezuela. So we are giving them continuing education all about periodontics and mucogingival surgery. So here uh, we have like a group training group for these uh, students. And in Venezuela, uh, well, we have all the technology also. We have a lot of problems because the political side and the economical side, but the professional side, we can manage to improve ourselves and, you know, export knowledge to other countries also. So it's very good, the dentistry here in Venezuela, and most of the things we bring from the United States so are the same materials, and we have a very good teamwork, interdisciplinary teamwork that we manage to all make all the rehabilitation for our patients. So it's very good. It's not that because we have these problems, political and economical, it's not the, that we're not treating at the high quality dentistry here in Venezuela. So we manage that. And I have to admit that to have more knowledge and to improve ourselves, we go outside of Venezuela. But it's so awesome to meet so amazing uh, dentists from all over the world that are making the same 
uh, thing that you are doing and have the same philosophy and the same passion and love for periodontics that you you may change so many knowledge that that's why uh, right now in Divas in Dentistry, we can, you know, improve ourselves. Each of us are, you know, having uh, new techniques in all that is referred to tissue management, but um, and at the implantology side uh, or at periodontal side. Yeah, so I know I know you're really involved with uh, the, with that organization, uh, Divas in Dentistry, and and you have a strong um, relationship with that and help teach and show um, not only that that women can uh, be you know real dominant players in the dental world, but also um, from Venezuela, and I know. You have a real strong ability to um, uh, help your your country also with with uh, pushing the scientific envelope forward. What, tell me about some of these new techniques you're working on. I know you were talking about a uh, microplastic root coverage technique. Why don't you share with me a little bit about what you're doing with that and and kind of your involvement with uh, developing that? Well, it, it's called BY Bernotti flap, and it's a minimal invasive technique that it basically is a root coverage technique that with a V incision, we push the flap coronally to cover the root, the, the, the recession that we have. So with this technique, we, with a simple suture, we manage to, uh, to push the, the flap coronally and cover this recession. And with this, we can avoid hypersensitivity, hypersensitivity and we can cover the, the recession and we can improve the aesthetic for a patient. But the, the new thing about this technique is that you don't have to uncover, you know, the coronal, uh, the bone at the papillas because you you're going you're going to preserve two millimeters of papilla of each side of the recession. So what's the importance of this? Because we're not taking out the blood supply. So the technique will will be um, predictable. So you can see predictable results with a simple technique. Right now we manage to combine this technique with connected tissue wraps and periodic membrane, which is the big, the huge uh, advance for this, is that the healing of the site, it will be improved. And then we are managing to modify the thin biotype to a thick biotype. This is very important because now our thick biotype is going to be more resistant to the traumatic of the toothbrush or another external trauma that can make a recession in, in our teeth. It will, you know, protect the surrounding bone. It will be more aesthetic for a patient. Right now, when we manage to do this in, on teeth sites, now we're doing it on implant sites because sometimes when the rehabilitation with implant have a long time in, in mouth, you see that uh, healing through the time, the mucosa start being thinner. So there is a translucent from the implant to the mucosa. So right now with this technique that is so simple, making a bean incision and separating the flap and then uh, cleaning the surface of the implant and putting connective tissue or PRF and then suture at the apical side of the beam, we can manage to cover only one defect without compromising the, the teeth that are beside or the implants that are beside. So we are improving each day this technique with, you know, uh, thinking, thinking, and thinking how can it be done. So each day we have new new thoughts that are improving this technique in a simple way. So we are very enthusiastic with this technique because now we can see that 
only having one suture, one horizontal suspensory suture to this de incisions, we can manage to um, move the flap coronally without making any tension that compromise the blood supply. So it's a very predictable microplastic technique. It is awesome, and that's why we are, you know, we are making so so much loud about this because we we believe in what we're doing now. Now, is is this is this technique um, that doesn't involve any bone grafting when you're doing this, does it? It's just uh, it's just all tissue grafting. You said correct. It's on uh, right now. It's only tissue grafts. We haven't included yet with uh, bone grafts because uh, we believe that you need first tissue, biotype tissue. Then, if you need to put bone grafts, you can do it uh, in another surgery. Why I'm telling you this? Because sometimes uh, when it's too compromised, the implant side, you shouldn't be doing any of, of this technique. You should take it out, the, the implant. But when it's only the coronal, the margin side that is having trouble with the, you know, thin tissue, and you don't want that that recession comes, you know, higher, you want to reduce the recession, it's better to do a simple technique that won't compromise all the aesthetic and and the restorations on implants that you have. So why not why not doing grafts right now? Because I believe that you need a good thick tissue to improve that implant side, and if you need moreover the bone graft, you can use it with a tissue that won't move from his place and compromise aesthetic or the stability of the implant. Yeah, so it's it's really about stabilizing the gum tissue um, around teeth and implants that aren't completely compromised to... Um... Yes, it's, it's to stabilize, stabilize the implant, and not only that, the aesthetic, because if you have a thick biotype, you are protecting the subjacent bone, and you will have more stability of the implant or the tooth that you are, you know, treating in that in that moment. So that's why it's it's indicated for isolate recessions because you don't want to compromise the, the other teeth or the implants that beside. Yeah. Now when okay. are you gonna be releasing uh, kind of a full um, protocol for this? Well right now we're working on it and we're going to to launch this um, new technique at Germany the next week at ladies in, in dentistry, leading ladies in dentistry. So we're going to be working on this and soon we're having the protocol of this technique because we, we have so many ideas to improve. One of those, it, it could be what you just say to combine it with uh, the bone grafts also. But I believe that tissue has to be very stabilized then we can talk about uh, bone graft. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's it's hard to get a good bone graft if the tissue is not thick and healthy and um, infection free. So yes. treating that gum tissue always makes uh, maybe the most sense um, before you, you can get any predictable results with any sort of bone work. Yes, and and when you have uh, you can compromise the marginal tissue around the the restoration. You know you don't want to touch that margin because. It could be it could it could get worse. So um, it's better that you improve with a thick tissue that won't move that maintains in the place or cover some defects of the restoration that uh, you can then see the healing, wait for the healing, and then see if you need uh, bone rest. I believe in that in, in tissue maintaining. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you've got to have good, healthy, stable tissue to, to maintain healthy teeth and healthy implants. So um, the better we can take care of that, that tissue, the, you know, the better off we're going to be. Now, is that, um, what are, what other kind of uh, procedures do you like to perform these days? I know that's, that's a big one for you right now. What other kind of procedures are you into in your practice or, or what kind of uh, advanced techniques are, are you doing? Well, right now um, I'm combining this um, microplastic surgery with the umbrella concept that is how you have to shape the root 
so the tissue has enough space to be, you know, to thicker the tissue. It, it's like an S that you perform on the on the root with the coronal part, and it's like concave. So the tissue will heal around that concave and will be thicker and maintained in the place. That's the umbrella concept. And the umbrella concept, you can do it um, either in teeth or at implant size with the pro prosthetic part that the emergence profile will be a little bit concave under the margin tissue. So the tissue gets thicker in that place and it will maintain in, in that high. So I'm combining the microplastic periodontal surgery with this concept of umbrella concept. We are using also that it's very important to condition in roots before we, we do any microplastic surgery because we want to discontaminate the area and be sure that the tissue will heal correctly on the root. So we are doing it on teeth and at implant size is it the platform or the coronal part is compromised by a recession or or it's we have inflammation around the color of the the implant we also do it's like a conditioning with tetracycline antibiotics so with we make sure that it's not infected to clear everything from the you know micro microorganisms so the tissue ha has a good stable place where to heal you know in good conditions so we are we are combining those three things root conditioning we are um, using umbrella concept that is to to shape concave under the the free gingival margin and we are making VY Bernotti flap that is the new technique we are improving. Also, but this is when you have only isolated recession. For other cases that you have multiply recessions, we are using the technique, the tunneling technique. In the tunneling technique, you can treat different, you know, uh, a lot of recession at only one surgery, and you combine it with connected tissue grafts. And you make a little tunnel under the papillas and going through each each tooth and then uh, with a vertical suspensory suture, you pull all the tissue coronally and then you can stabilize it there to cover all the recessions. That's the, the technique that we are using. So with this technique of tunneling technique, we mm, make another step forward. We are improving this technique with the gum drop technique. That is making a tunnelization and may, uh, putting also connected tissue graft, and you can combine it with PRF membrane uh, growth factors. So this will improve more the healing of the tissue is going to be faster and is going to be better. And you can combine to, you know, to improve the thickness and to improve the healing for the patient. So most of all, this is the techniques that we are using in our practice. And it's something that you don't need to buy because everything is from the patient. The connected tissue is from the patient. The PRF is from the blood of the patient, and we can do all these techniques here in our office, and we don't need to, you know, to to buy anything else to to treat the recession defects or the mucosal defects that they have the patient. Now, are you are you are you using PRF uh, that the membrane and the growth factors quite a bit in your surgical practice? Yes, we try to do it. Almost in everything, yeah. almost in everything. Yes, because the other thing is that when you use this growth factor, because you are making all, all you know, is a concentrate. 
that are you given in the site that you treat them. Maybe that that um, you're getting out of some infection there, so you have to take out the granuloma and you have to do the you know the scaling, a root planning of the surface, and then in in other times we used to you know to say to the patient you have to take some antibiotics right now if you put all this membrane and all these growth factors in that place that you're treating maybe you you don't have to use antibiotics because all the growth factors of your body you are introducing in one one side that is going to heal better because you are concentrating all, all that immuno immuno defense that you have from your body. So it's another good thing that we are doing with the PRS. There is, uh, um, you know, oh, have these all these growth factors to function not only to improve the healing, but to take care of the healing with uh, avoiding any infection. Yeah, great. I I know it's a it's a great technique and really catching on in dentistry, and it, it is definitely allowing us to do more in shorter amount of time and and heal more predictably. So I think that's great. What kind of implant systems are you using in your office now? Uh, do you do you have different kinds, or um, what's available to you, and what do you prefer right now? Well, uh, right now I'm I'm using Implant Direct. That is a it, it, it's a very um, friendly implant that um, allows me to use abutments that are very you know straight and they they have this you know space that you can put your tissue around it and you can perform a better emergence profile. So um, we are using this because you can combine. Not only the Japanese abutment, even though the provisional abutment are in the same, you know, design that make us, you know, do do better our microplastic surgery so we can improve the margins profile that is so important for the aesthetic zone of uh, implant restoration. So right now... We are using these implants and we have other implants also in Venezuela that is like uh, IQ, MIS, uh, Seamer, Intralog, uh, Neobiotech. There are different, uh, you know, companies of implants, but um, right now I'm preferring this because the implant directs give us in a simple way different choices to, you know, to gain the soft tissue volume necessary for the emergence profile. So that's why we, most of them, um, I'm going, you know, to pick this implant like mine, the one that I use most, but we have a lot of different implants here in Venezuela. Yeah. I, li- I like the uh, Simply Interactive from Implant Direct. Have you tried that one? Yeah. Uh, I I. I I have uh, tried uh, somewhat, not all, because you know, but because uh, you know the situation here in Venezuela. But uh, yes, I, I think that that is that is an, uh, a system that you see that they it comes everything in in a package that you need to improve the the you know the deepness of the platform, the implant platform. Uh, the healing, and you have the um, true healing also that it get incorporated. So if you want the the healing or only the the closure screw, the sc- I don't know how to say. Yeah, um, the, yeah, the cover screw. So yeah, the cover screw. Sorry, the cover screw. You have it all in in one uh, package, so it's easy to manage the situation. And depending how are you you are managing the surgery in that moment. So I think when the company thinks in how are you doing the surgery and the complications that you can have, and they give it all so simple. That's why one of the things I, I love to, to, you know, to use this kind of, you know, system. So Implant Direct is giving me a lot of the um, implements in a simple way that I can use and and. Avoid me any any problems with uh, 
tissue management that is very important for me. So the aesthetic and the healing and the health of my patient is going to be guaranteed. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. how uh, Implant Direct has that all-in-one packaging. They've got a uh, the cover screw and the healing abutment in the same package. So depending how yeah. the depending how the surgery goes, you can kind of um, decide what you you know if you want to do a one stage or a two stage and yeah. and then they're they're very easy uh, to work with and the the platforms are all interchangeable with um, the major implant brands so I feel it's been it's been pretty good to work with. Yes, they give you so facilities that you you won't be able to mess it up. It's going to be easy to make a uh, implant restoration with that because you know where it's has to be put the implant the, the deeper because you have all these parts of the implant that they are giving you to to see and to match and to, to you know to manage at the surgery so but most of all I, I do I, I do periodontics and implantology so I I get to own to the provisional part because my colleagues from the processes we have a interdisciplinary uh, team here so they manage the the restorations and the, the processes. So uh, I think they are they are also very happy with this system. So uh, I cannot give you the details of the processes because I don't do it right now. But but I think in the parts that I that I'm using is is very you know friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, very, very very good to use. Now, um, what else? Um, do you think the people would want to know about what you're doing or, or kind of what you have on your plate coming up? I know, um, you know, you do a lot of travel and are doing a lot of speaking and have a lot of uh, things going on. You know, how can people get a hold of you or, or follow you or, or learn more about these microplastic techniques, <laughs> these umbrella <laughs> concepts, this root conditioning, these tunnelings, uh, the gum yeah, drop technique? We- I mean, there's there's a lot of things that you're doing that are all very exciting, and I almost don't even know how to follow you with all this stuff. <laughs> well, uh, I have uh, my Instagram that is that Dr. Bernotti Periodon- Periodoncia. Periodoncia. Dr. Bernotti Periodoncia. In my Instagram, and you can see also my teamwork in Instagram that is Bernotti. Uh, but group is uh, um, the my teamwork in, is Instagram. You can follow me there and also in my website, uh, Facebook, Ana Luisa Bernotti. And we are giving a lot of hands-on courses that we we teach the tunneling technique, and we teach the VY technique, and how you manage to suture this kind of uh, flaps uh, and how to get connected tissue from the tuberosity or the palatal to be combined with this technique and how you use the PRF, you do the phlebotomy and you prepare the blood to have this uh, liquid PRF or membrane membrane PRF. Our courses, uh, we are managing the publishing these courses at the, the website, at the Instagram that I, that I say. And now it, we are coming um, at India to have a tour that um, we are giving this type of courses. It's a little bit far from from you, <laughs> those courses, but our next uh, year we are going to have, well, I, I'm not, I don't know if this year we're going to have it in, in the United States, uh, it depends on um, Dr. Della Tuto, the, the one that is the creator of gum drug technique. That is a fabulous technique that she, I learned, I learned from her. And it's marvelous because you can treat almost a, a, a complete part and of root recessions in only one step and combine it with the PRF. Wonderful results. And well, uh, I think I'm I'm going to gather with her to make this type of courses. And the thing is, uh, the good thing is that it are small groups that you can exchange all your knowledge and you can make all the questions and you can work on, you know, pig, pig mouth and you can 
you know, see how is the technique, manage the suture, where you have the suture, how you can take the tissue graft. And it's not about only me teaching or daily total teaching her technique. It's about that you have to learn to solve the problem that is coming uh, from the patient that in, he's coming to you to solve that. Maybe it's not a huge problem. Maybe it's one recession that is, you know, that is bothering your smile and you want to cover it because every time you smile, you can see that the root recession there that is, is getting ugly, your smile. So, or maybe it's, it's all your mouth that has all this mucosal defect. So in this course, we, we are, you know, encouraging the, uh, doctors, uh, not, not only specialists, the general doctors, to make this simple technique. We are not, you know, we are not encouraging people to do maxillofacial surgery. No, we are, you're, we are encouraging uh, general dentists to make simple surgeries that maybe, uh, like I said before, you're not going to change the world, but believe me, you're going to change the world for that patient. So uh, I believe, and Delia Tuto believe that you have to be, you know, learning each day, uh, having not new knowledge to improve what are you doing in your office. And I, I don't think it's harm, it wouldn't harm anybody learning more about simple techniques that would improve your practice. And that's one of the philosophies that this group is, you know, is taking out because it is the way, is the attitude that you have to improve yourself and to manage the professional work that you're given to your patient. So I believe it, we are making, you know, giving all our efforts to, to share this, and I think in, in a good way, will improve uh, the professional practice of each doctor that can make it through and have these hands-on courses. Yeah, I, I know it's you know it's a it's a collection of everybody teaching what they know and learning from others and and lifting each other up because you know unfortunately there's always there's always a bunch of critics out there. Those are usually the ones that aren't contributing and aren't you know, helping others grow. And it's it's good to see a group, you know, develop that's all, that's all about sharing what they're doing and learning from each other and, and helping lift each other up because I think that's that's kind of tough to find sometimes. Yes, it's very tough. But when you succeed in, in your profession or in your life, I believe that succeed and you enjoy it, enjoy it better when you are accompanied than when you are alone. So... It's not the same taste if you are alone or being selfish. I believe that you have to make a selfie of yourself. You have to look of yourself to know who you are so you can show it to the others and share it if it's good. Okay? And if it's not good, look at the others so you can improve yourself or change the things that you know you can change. You know? Because it's life, uh, I, I believe it. <laughs> You know, first of all, you have to have, I think, love. Well, not love only to your, you know, yeah, how do you call it? Spouse. A couple. Couple, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to your couple. It's love for the things that you do, love for your, you know, your teamwork, love for for helping each other. You know, you have to make it believe that that love is, get, is getting to you uh, in a, material way that you can see what your love is making out you know so when you see that can you can improve someone or you can you know that you have this satisfaction that others can make what you're doing world will be definitely would be uh, would change would change if you can share that knowledge and you can have this same philosophy so it's so nice that it's very difficult to see, you know. It's so nice that you realize the good things that others have and you you say, I want to be like that person. I want to have that knowledge. I want to have those skills. Why not? I'm not, I'm not worth of that people. How do you say? I'm not less, less than 
than her or than him. I, I know if I can, you know, in a, if I can uh, talk to myself, I know I can do it and I would do it. And that's part of the philosophy that we want to share. So it's so nice to share every, all the good things. And, you know, it will be better all your practice and it feels best. It feels best to know that. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. you know it's it's better to share with others than to uh, to to do it all yourself. And you know, like you're saying, you, you got to have passion in life and passion for what you do and passion to share that with others. And um, you know, I know I know you've got a deep passion for dentistry and a caring for other people. And I think that's that's got to be at your heart more than any any personal success. So that's that's why I wanted to talk with you today. And um, you know, I'm mm-hmm. really excited about all the things you're talking about and your your microplastic technique for root coverage and um, these other concepts you shared with me, you know, I'm going to go look those up more and learn about those. And uh, yeah, be wider, not be flat. I just, we, we just published it in a digital magazine that uh, Bella Tutu is taking care of that. But uh, soon you can search it by the website. And next, next week we are going to launch it at the ladies, leading ladies in dentistry in Germany. So it's gonna be it's gonna be very exciting to to see other other dentists improving their techniques and sharing this technique that is so simple and I think they will love it. They will love it because it's so simple that they want you know believe that it, it, you can do it so fast and so easy for the yeah. patient. That's what we're all looking for. Just you know, if everyone can make little baby steps to get better all the time, uh, you know, we'll all be better off in the end. And so. It's good to have uh, all these tricks in your in your uh, trade, and to um, it, it's great that you're developing new things and contributing to the field of dentistry, and and then sharing that with others. So uh, I really appreciate your time today. I'll I'll get all the notes uh, I can for you for for links for people to uh, find out more about you and the things you're doing. Um, and I I know I know English isn't your first language, so I really appreciate you taking the time with me today and talking with me um, mm-hmm. about dentistry. I'd love to. I'd love to share with you again sometime. So um, it's been great. Oh, it, it's will been be, great. it will be my pleasure. And if you want, te puedo hablar en español también. <laughs> and if you want that I talk in Spanish for Latin people, it would be my pleasure also. Well, we'd have to figure out another interpreter for me. I'm not. I'm not as good as you. I've. <laughs> I've only. I only know the English, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, I would. I would love to share this. Uh, you know, and 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 I'll get that out the best I can, and I'll I'll get all the links with you, and um, you know, share everything you're doing because I know you're really leading a great cause and uh, look forward to seeing you again um, if you make it back to the States or if I make it overseas. So it's been, it's been great to chat with you and, and I, I hope to catch up with you soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.